Well, it's Tuesday morning, about 10.45. I'm uh, getting ready to go. I just came back from uh, an office dropping off those shovels and grass trimmers and that little chopper rake thing and the scissors for that lady. And I had to go by the post office. Now, you remember my two Cutco knives, right? Well, they both sold. This the uh, this is the four dollar one. It sold for uh, six thirty six ninety nine. I'm getting ready to ship it out tomorrow. The wooden handled brown one, the butcher knife style knife, the two dollar and ninety five cent one sold for uh, ten dollars and ninety five cent. Not too bad. And then as I was coming home, a lady called me. Says I got twelve knives I need sharpened. They're in there. I haven't looked at them yet. I know in this lot here, there are some broken handle knives. She wants me to see if I can fix them. Stand by. She must have had her packages mixed up. This one is a great big uh, Victor Knox. This is a long slicer of Victor Knox. This is a LC Germain, and this is a long old saboteur. Just needs sharpening. A little bit of polish on that one. Maybe this one. Mm, stand by. This one has got two big, I mean, a small and a, a large LC Germain. Another Sabatier. Now, this could be the one she's talking about. Oh, no, that's not it. It's this one. She's got a long crack right there in the handle. That's the only one I've seen that's got a crack in it. Other than the little one, it's got a little crack right there. Then she's got one, two, three. Four international heckles from China. China heckles. Let's see what's in the next package. I can't tell what it is, but it's old carbon, I think. This is the one that got the handles cracked on it, missing. I may have to send that to my buddy Jerry, see if he can fix it for her. Hmm. Now this one is another carbon in bad shape. I can't see what kind they are. Oh wait a minute, I see something here. Saboteur, right there on the handle. Yeah, the old Tiquito. This could be a saboteur as well. But wherever it says saboteur is missing. Alright, stand by. We're going to the bay somewhere. Well, I left my camera in the bag with the knives when I got to the beach. I don't know if you can hear that thunder or not, but I was only there 40 minutes and I had to run. The lightning was bad. Stand by. Can you hear it? Just yeah, start. <laughs> there it is. There's another guy there with me. He left before me. He was scared. You can see it's just yeah, starting to rain a little bit. I hope it lets up, I'm going back. He's waiting it out in his truck. Ring man had honeydews today, couldn't go. Beaver is waiting. Really sucked in here now. Thunder and lightning. Look at this. I don't know if you'd be able to read it or not. Maybe turkey. 
and the bad luck. I got those almost done. I got to strut the rest of these. About ten more minutes, I'll be through. You know, where I look, it's black, but it's not raining. It stopped raining. I'm thinking about going again. I mean, <laughs> God, here. That's what makes me not want to go. But we had a we had a gusher. Well, I got all the knives done for that lady. All kinds of knives. Good old big ones, carbon steel ones. <laughs> Hank's visiting for a few days. Oh, Hank. He's a big old, look at that tail. He's a big old Hank. Yes, you are. A pain in the ass, Hank. Oh, hi, Hank. I did go before spin. Uh, I got rained on, but it was okay. I got a nice uh, 10K signet ring, and I got a nice 10K small signet ring. I'll have some pictures at the end. And a buffalo. I can't make out the date. Couple of nickels, couple of pennies, and this little wafer thin penny. You can see it's not smaller than a dime. And some crap. <laughs> okay, I see you.